Oh shit, Santa, someone's been good this year. What is up you guys? We're back doing an, other, an actual unboxing video. I find that to be absolutely phenomenal. An actual unboxing video. And today it's actually not sneakers. So I have seen this before we get too far into it. As I've been saying in the vlog that I want to get at least a little bit better with photography and trying some different stuff. And with it being cold, we're gonna have to be stuck inside. So I wanna have some stuff that's kinda cool. I have set up a station kinda over here, but I have kind of a station over here that I actually wanna use for photography. Use my time because I've been having like these self realizations that you know, all of us kind of just have time. That's all that we really have. So you might as well just try and find some stuff that makes you enjoy spending your time doing it. But uh, other than that, let's see. You boys are gonna need something to cut with. I love editing because you can just cut like all the unnecessary shit. Cause like, honestly, like my videos are like maybe like 20 something minutes long on here, but it's like 40 minutes worth of me fucking rambling. But anyways, you guys, let's get into the box. I got this from GameStop. It had posted, these are out there. So if you guys like these, um, you probably will really, I don't think it's gonna be too hard to find. It's not too expensive. I paid like 30 bucks for this thing, which the box um, for $30, pretty cool. As you guys know, I collect a lot of Dragon Stars. This is the Dragon Stars World Arena, World Tournament Arena Diorama. A fun fucking thing to say. Try and say that five times fast. World Tournament Arena Diorama. World Tournament Arena Diorama. And it's from Bandai. This is like one of their new things that they've been guess trying to get i'd love to see multiple dioramas so hopefully if we all buy this one they'll make another one i'd like to see either namek or like a world tournament since they're doing all the super characters you should just do like it or like the uh like the last the universal tournament or whatever all right damn this thing is cool in the box got these guys but yeah damn this thing is big like i bet Let's fuck out of their box but yeah as you guys can see we have the world tournament arena let me try and get that in there for you this is dragon ball dragon ball z like this is a really cool diorama i'm glad that they actually did this you don't usually see 20 dollars figures i guess want to go and do something this crazy they have all the different dragon stars figures too on the back we'll show you the back of the box it's pretty cool um yeah, all the waves. I pretty much have everybody. I think I'm missing, like, maybe, I don't know, uh, maybe five of them. Maybe. Maybe five. But, uh, yeah, all the different ones they have down here. You have your Goku and Piccolo and your early Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z references. Like, they did a really good job. It's very nostalgic. Um, I like that it is just, there's destruction too with it. So that's kind of cool. Well, anyways, let me get this set up for you guys and we're going to change camera angles. I'm going to try and get it different. We'll show you the setup that we have over here. So give me a second. Let's do that real quick. So there it is. You guys, hopefully you guys are enjoying the content that's coming out. This is one I'm really excited about. As you can see, we have the world martial arts tournament diorama from dragon stars and Bandai America. This thing is awesome. It took a little bit to, it's a little confusing when you build it, but after you start getting it going, it really isn't that hard. As you can see, we have our uh, Santa Claus in the side. He's sneaking in, trying to find a Dragon Ball and leave a tree or some presents or maybe find Goku in a Santa suit. Goodness gracious, big old truck going by. <laughs> Even when I'm trying to film stuff, it, it shows up. But yeah, this is a diorama, guys. I really recommend it if you guys are into the Dragon Stars line or the SH Figures Art line. If you do Dragon Ball or just need something kind of, even Naruto or like, I, I know it would be kind of weird to do that, but any type of like anime figure, I think would look really good with this. You can take certain pieces away where it would kind of maybe mimic it a little bit, but definitely if you guys are collectors in the Dragon Stars line, or if you are an SH Figure Arts line a collector, this diorama, I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys check it out at least, especially with the holidays coming up. You'll probably be able to get this thing probably for a steal on some marketplace. I don't know which one would be selling it. I'm sure I got mine from GameStop. I think I paid like 35 or 36 bucks after shipping. Super, super happy with it. I think that that was money well spent, especially with some of the things that we want to do with the channel and with the time that's coming up in the holidays. I want to be creative and I want to try and make some stuff. So this was kind of a requirement. I have a, a lot of 
new figures that I've wanted to get some photos of, but really just haven't figured out how and when I was going to do that. So with that being said, I would like to say that this probably is one of the better things that the Dragon Stars line has come up with yet. And it's not even actually a character. This thing's going to go really far for you guys. If you're using it, um, I'm sure the lighting, it has a lot of little nooks and crannies where you could hide some lights and do some cool stuff with it. I think that's what we're going to try and end up doing with it. One of the better things I did want to show too, as you can see, uh, it's pretty representative. This thing does destruct. So there are parts that fall off. The wall is kind of a pain in the ass to get together. So I don't really want to take that part away, but I will show you guys one of the really, really exciting features that I found out with this. And I didn't even realize it until I bought it and then got it just because, you know, I I'd, I'd known that this thing was coming out, but I wasn't really a hundred percent set on getting it but then once i did i was really excited to find out about this feature but on the bottom of it it actually switches over into a destroyed i guess martial arts battle floor it's pretty cool let me switch it out for you real quick and there you go guys as you can see it now has a completely destroyed centerpiece on the floor which i think that's a really cool addition i already know a couple different shoots i'm going to be able to do with that especially any type of power-ups or anything like that i think that's going to be really really cool to try and mess with a little bit i'm going to try and get a little more creative with it so it's good to have a little starting point at least to see how that's going to go also with the figure reviews like i said i have now added this microphone so let me go guys blah, blah, blah. <laughs> let me know in the comments you guys what you think does the sound quality help a little bit and we're hopefully you know i'm just trying to change a couple things around the channel i just don't want it to get too stagnant and it's not just sneakers so that's really why i'm glad that this video is coming out because there's a lot of other things that are going on right now i just with everybody being stuck inside really all we're doing is buying stuff and eating dinner so that's kind of just been what's been happening here but i have a few ideas hopefully you guys will be paying attention to my instagram a lot of stuff's going to go up on there i may actually start a separate instagram account for figures and stuff like that let me just know in the comments you guys what you guys think about that and like i said in the previous one thank you guys so much for the love that's been shown on the channel the past couple weeks really has been uh kind of kind of uh just a step back moment just to realize like yeah what do you really want to do with this what do you really want to do and i think it's just kind of enjoy more stuff that i'm into and try and expand a little bit vary out a little bit like we said we've been buying nikes i just got the air max 90 infrareds which i'm still waiting for hibbit to ship those so hibbit if you watch the video please ship my shoes because i really want them but yeah things are changing and we're going to try and do some different stuff around here hopefully dragon stars and bandai think about doing something else like this hopefully we could see like a another tournament like i'd love to i would just love to see some different land of the cause and different dioramas that we could switch out because if you can do this one guys i think you can do a lot more um but i'm really happy about it i'd love like a roshi's house or some shit like that just you know the, i mean if they're doing this you know it's kind of limitless at least in the possibilities that they can think of because there's just so much source material and i think if we got if we buy these it'll really show bandai that it's a good idea and they may just make a couple more but i hope you guys are having a good day this is the rest of the video i'm going to do some b-roll footage right here hopefully you guys enjoy it it's a lot of work in progress it's going to be coming with this diorama but hopefully you guys are paying attention and just watching as it goes because i'm really excited with some of the ideas that i've had the past couple uh just minutes looking at this thing so yeah i hope you guys are having a good day I'll I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much. Y'all have a great day.